So this is my ZMR250. I've built it up and put a KK2 in it, or 2.1, can't remember which. It's got mystery ESCs and I've been flying it. I haven't really liked it much, but I didn't realize that you actually need to do the mixer editor settings to adjust for the H frame so that the flight characteristics work, basically. It basically says that this is longer and adjusts all the throttle settings so that it works. So I'm going to pull it apart and put it back together with the appropriate mixer editor settings. So when I originally built this, I didn't quite finish it. I had the power distribution going across the top of the KK. So I've now just cut a bit of a gap in the foam here and uh, run the, the main power through the middle. So now I can get to the KK2 with a bit more access to configure, etc. That's a bit better. Now I can access the KK. So this is the motor layout, stock standard, without changing the mix editor settings. As you can see, pretty standard X, X uh, quadcopter. So now we'll go into the mixer editor and for channel 1, which is motor 1, you've got these settings, minus 71 and 71, and as you can see that relates to aileron, minus, elevator, Plus, as per my diagram from my other video, to setting up uh, the mixer editor settings. And what we need to do is punch these, the length of the, from the center of gravity out to the motors, which is 127. And the angle for motor one, which is 308, into the spreadsheet which gives me the settings of elevator 62 and aileron minus 79 so I basically now need to change these settings to those and I'll, and the same for each motor so I'll go through and do that and then we'll have a look at the motor layout so I've updated the motor, motor layout and as you can see now it uh, reflects more the actual shape of this H quadcopter. It's not a perfect square anymore. It's a bit rectangular with the distance between 1 and 2 longer than the distance between 2 and 3 etc. So I love how this controller actually reflects the, the motor layout when you change the mixer editor settings. Alright, all tuned up. I've reconfigured that now so it's actually recognizes that it's in a H configuration with the mixer editor and this is its last chance to impress me if it doesn't then the motors go off to my mini hex project so I'll uh, take it for a fly and I'll add it on the end of the video and we'll see how it goes uh, just for reference I've set um, stick scaling on the KK to 65, so that's what it'll be on for the next video. I can't tell which way it's facing at all. It looks the same every friggin' angle I'm looking at it. Is this the one you posted a video on this morning? No, that's the bigger version of this. Right. Cool, the, the other one's the one I made. That's the bigger version of this. Right, I just made it for my one. 
Oh, is that the is that the one you drew up and shit? Yeah. Made out of plywood. Just the controller so that it knows it's a H rather than an X configuration. Yeah. Now it actually flies really well. So I take all the shit back I said about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been calling it a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, I see. So because I thought it was an X.